hey y'all welcome back to my channel today we will be doing soft locks with the color 27 i ordered this here off of amazon you will need a crochet needle some shiny gem and a rat tail comb here are how the locks are looking i'm so excited to try this new color i've never done this color before so first you're going to start parting your hair you want to get the part as crispy as you can it doesn't have to be extremely perfect but you definitely don't want it looking crooked when parting my hair, I use two mirrors so I can see the back of my head and kind of like the front of my head. Um, so the mirrors are facing each other, so that's how I'm able to see the back of my head. You want to add your shining gem and then you want to part as you see fit. I'm doing triangle parts today, so that's how I'm going to be parting my hair in this video. So once each of the sections are separated, you're going to start by adding your shiny jam to that section and braiding down regularly. You want to make sure you have an extra tight grip so at the root it is tight and not loose. So I'm just going to braid down a few times, making sure it's tight. And then I'm really going to braid down a little bit farther than I normally do just because this is not my natural hair color. Um, here is how I'm going to attach the lock to my hair. I don't really crochet it in. More specifically, I just use a crochet needle just to braid in the hair, if that makes sense. I find that this method is easier and works best for me because when removing the locks, I don't have to worry about cutting my hair because all I have to do is find that piece of braid and unbraid it and the lock will slide right out. So here I am just braiding down the hair to my desired end point of the braid. So I went ahead and did that for three of them and they are looking so good. So next I'm going to start off with the next section and I'm literally going to be repeating the same steps that I did for the first section. I don't think that you need a whole lot of jam. Me personally, I just add a little bit just for it to be neat. A lot of jam is not necessary, so you don't have to be using your whole jam container to make those parts straight and crispy. Here I am making sure that my triangles are giving triangles, and yes, I had an A in geometry. As you can tell, like, come on now. So as I was about to break down, I noticed that the part was not as crispy as I thought, so I'm just gonna go over it with my comb and make sure that gives triangle. Now the first two rows are done and I think those are like, I don't want to say the hardest parts, but they like set the tone of the rest of the hair. So here I'm just going to be parting my hair from ear to ear just to separate the front from the rest of the back um, to make sure like the parts are, are good and uniform. Do y'all see these parts? Oh my gosh, I love them. So I'm really just gonna continue braiding down and attaching the locks to the rest of my head. I do like to kind of like add all the locks in my hair before I start the next process of um, like wrapping the hair around. I just think it just feels so much better and closer to just have all the locks in my head first. So this is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna be parting the front of my head. I am doing a middle part. Um, so I do start by parting my hair in the middle and here I am looking in both of the mirrors <laughs> struggling just to make sure that my part is straight because that's the part people are gonna see. So if you don't care about none of the rest of the parts in your head, care about the one in the front where people can actually visually see. So for the top of my head, I just went ahead and pre-parted just to help me get through this faster. Like I'm tired, I'm getting overdoing my hair. So that is really just to motivate me <laughs> to get in the rest of my head done. Um, and it just helps keep things neat and uniform. And I'm also going to be taking out my adult hairs. Notice I didn't say baby hairs because these aren't baby hairs. I know they're adult hairs. 
so i am literally almost done and i don't know if you could tell but i'm so happy that i'm almost done like adding them all in and getting my parts done so this is how it's looking on one side and then i finished all of them i just have this one more left and i'm going to repeat the same process i've been doing i'm going to attach the lock to my hair through braids braid it in and that is it and then we'll be moving on to the next step shortly So now I'm about to just put my hair in a little ponytail and I'm filling the hair. All right, y'all. First of all, why are these giving two different 27s? Like, I thought that it was going to look different when I got it out the pack. But no, it's not looking different. So I'm about to just, like, wrap it around each individual lock. Starting with this first one right here. Um, and then you're literally going to see me continuing this step throughout the rest of my head. And at this point, I'm literally just praying that this doesn't look as bad as it looks. Because I feel like when the hair is all compact together, the color just looks a lot stronger than how it does when in smaller quantities. Okay, so like I know I look freaking crazy. And y'all, like this is the time. Look at the time. It's freaking 2.18, I hope this is clear. 2.18 in the morning. I have to be somewhere at 9, 9, 9.30. And so like, I knew that the colors looked a little off, like, but I was hoping that once it got together, it would look better. Like once you took it out the packaging, it would like change color, but not change color. So I got the color 27, but y'all, this is given two different 27s. My friend trying to convince me that I don't look that bad, but when I took a video and looked at it myself, very much so looking bad. Like, huh? Oh no. My back hurt, I'm tired. I don't even wanna finish this at this point, but I guess I just gotta wrap it in and hope for the best. I mean, honestly, like what I'm thinking I'll do, like if it doesn't like look really, 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 terrible i'm going to just go to the hair store and try to find different wrapping hair because i don't know like this looks crazy but i kind of have to just keep going because i have somewhere to go tomorrow and can't just go like this so wish me luck y'all i don't i don't freaking know like i don't know it just looks like two different freaking colors So at this point, all the locks are installed in my head and I'm trying to make sense of my head right now because it's given two different colors, bro. Like I literally had to go to sleep and wake back up and I finished installing them at literally eight o'clock. And I'm literally about to just put this bonnet on, take a shower, rush to get ready because I have to be somewhere at 9.30, like I said before, and take pictures. So yeah. So at this point i finished getting ready um and now i'm about to just figure out like what i can do exactly to my hair i have no idea what i'm about to do at this point but i need something that doesn't make it look too noticeable so here i am just playing around um i'm gonna do like some type of style um that y'all see in the next few clips i was doing like the two strand twist with like the barrel at the bottom I was thinking about doing like a bob, but I think I decided to just do it like almost like a Barbie half up, half down ponytail with a few in the front and then some in the back. Um, so here I'm just trying to like picture that, making sure also it doesn't hurt my head because I just installed these and the locks sometimes be a little tight when you first put them in. So just making sure it's not hurting me or anything. Thank you. 
So once I finish twisting the front, I am now like working my way on the back ponytail. Um, and this is the final product. I want to know what y'all think in the comments of this look. I know it's a little different because I had two different color 27s, but I think it's looking pretty okay. Not as bad as it looked before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and comment, and I'll see y'all in my next video.